yes sir okay so let's start with the today's newspaper analysis normally i don't take a newspaper class on sunday but uh, since we have started uh, yesterday only and at the same time uh, you also need to know what to read in newspaper on sunday because if even if i am not taking newspaper on sunday you are supposed to read the newspaper regularly and uh, you have to you know uh, make the notes on sunday as well so sunday ka newspaper kaise hota hai uh, the sunday newspaper is little different than the newspaper on normal day and that's why uh, i am taking it today so that you can come to know how to read the newspaper on sunday so as we have discussed 2 uh, to 3 to days back that uh, india is going to launch the uh, you know aditya yelvan mission so we have discussed about it what is this aditya yelvan mission aditya is the name of rigvedic god when studying ancient indian history us samay mein humne dekha tha ki uh, india other uh, early vedic period the names of the gods were uh, based on the nature like aditya you know mitra or you know uh, agni vayu etc so aditya is a name which has been given by the rigvedic people to the sun and that's why the name aditya yelvan is given yelvan is a location on which the this orbit this you know uh, this satellite will be orbiting around the sun so isro's first mission to study the sun has been launched yesterday and it was a successful and it is another landmark on india that's what prime minister had said so it is actually a observatory it is going to you know of course uh, any satellite cannot be landed on the uh, on the sun right like you know few days back india has launched similar one such mission on uh, on another planet on which uh, that satellite uh, has been landed on that planet anyone remember which was that mission Like maybe around four to five months back, हमने ये launch किया था. On first attempt, it was unsuccessful, but in second attempt, it was successful. So, do you remember what was that mission? Chandrayaan three. Chandrayaan three. So, like Chandrayaan three has you know that that and that yarn or that is called as rover that was landed on moon because moon is a cooler planet compared to the sun. So, of course. this you know uh, uh, air uh, you know uh, space craft which has been launched by india it is an observatory observatory matlab kya it is going to observe the surface of the sun now what will be the significance or what will be the use of this observation because you know as a uh, human being all the people in the world not all the people in the world but some of the countries like america england or france even china countries like india they are more curious about what is exactly is happening on the sun that you know how such huge energy and such huge you know the uh, heat is created on the sun and at the same time it will also be helpful in understanding the origin of universe like you know uh, by studying the planet like mars studying the planet like you know uh, moon studying the planets like jupiter studying the planet like sun we will come to know that how our universe has been you know has been originated there is most i uh, you know there is a theory uh, uh, about the origin of the universe anyone remember in basics of geography class maine aapko bataya tha ki what is the most accepted theory of origin of universe matlab is universe ki is brahman ki utpatti kaise hui usko lekar ek theory hai and what is that any idea about it big bang theory sir Yes, it is a Big Bang theory, but again, you know, it is a theory. मतलब ये theory है. It is not hundred percent proven fact. मतलब ये proven fact नहीं है. Got it? And that is why many uh, space researchers in the world, including NASA and ISRO and European Space Agency, they are trying to understand the exact origin of the universe. And that is why such type of missions are launched by various space agencies. So as a UPSC aspirant today, you will go and check it out. What is Aditya Yelvan? What are the features and what are the objectives of this Aditya Yelvan? And uh, again, as I told you in the beginning, that as a UPSC aspirant, you need to know the achievements of Indians in various technology. So this is the achievement of Indians in space technology. So in GS paper three, UPSC ka jo mains ka jo GS paper three hai, wahan par hi aapke liye useful hoga. That this is one of the important Uh, achievement of the indians in space technology clear so please write it down 
this point you have to write down in your notes in gs paper 3 that india has successfully launched aditya l1 that is isro's first mission to study the sun right so this solar observatory is having around seven payloads and it the mission's lifetime will be for five years matlab for five years uh, this observatory this you know satellite will be orbiting around the around the sun that's what is mentioned here now next step ab yaad hai telman ke baad mein india ka most ambitious project isro's most ambitious project is gaganyaan isse pehle bhi humne gaganyaan ko launch kiya tha but that gaganyaan was without uh, you know without man it was unmanned mission now ab tak india ne koi bhi manned mission nahi kiya manned mission matlab ye jitne bhi sare air you know space craft hote hain all these space crafts are not manned so india is having a very ambitious project now in future and that is called gaganyaan to so, isme a human you know uh, a being will be sent in, in that space craft and he will be going and he will be coming back so uh, it is only nasa and china i guess china was successfully sending such manned mission so the next uh, target of the india is gaganyaan that what you can see here so the success of aditya l1 reinforces isro's evolution into a space agency fully devoted to scientific and planetary exploration isro already sent missions to moon and mars we have already sent like achievements mein aapko ye dhyan mein rakhna hai what are the achievements of indians in space technology that we were successful in sending the missions on moon we were also successful in sending the missions on mars now aditya l1 uh, is again one more mission which will be observing the sun then uh, a mission to venus is in the work we are also going to send a mission to to venus now so a human space flight mission is set for 2025 with gaganyaan a manned mission this makes uh, insan hoga ek aadmi hoga jisko bheja jayega space mein so that mission is called as gaganyaan so all of you please write it down aapko what is gaganyaan and gaganyaan abhi matlab shuru hai it is in process so but basically you need to know that in gaganyaan's mission we are going to send a man into that space craft is it clear so upsc ka preparation karte hue aapko kya pata hona zaruri hai like you need to know the basics you know uh, basics of uh, science and technology you need to know at the same time current affairs aapko samajhna hoga so this is what is current affair that space technology mein india ne ab tak kya achieve kiya hai clear chale yes. now let's move to the next page as a uh, shared some of the news uh, you know uh, notes on the group which is respect to the security issues in the indian ocean so you can see that uh, many ships are being attacked and being you know uh, pirated by the uh, pirates in the uh, in, in the red sea region so many such ships are being uh, you know attacked by the houthi rebels in red sea region and in gulf region so one such you know hijacking attempt by those rebels have been foiled by the india that's what you can say the hijacking bit has been foiled navy hunts for pirates probes vessels in the area so uh, as a upc aspirant you need to know that what are the issues associated with the maritime security in indian ocean region the so indian ocean region mein jo maritime security hai yahan pe jo commercial vehicles jaate hain उनको कैसे सिक्योरिटी दिया जाए दिस इज अगेन वन ऑफ द इंपोर्टेंट इश्यू एट इंटरनेशनल मोदी सरकार की गारंटी I think uh, yesterday and day before yesterday we have seen uh, Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bima Yojana. So in this advertisement, you will come to know that what uh, are the achievement and what are the various schemes and policies of the government. That also you can come to know. This is again one of the important topic on which the questions are asked both in prelims and mains. So you can see, uh, as per Modi Sarkar, the number of airports have been increased. From seventy four to two thousand four, so sorry, so one forty nine now. But in two thousand fourteen, there were only seventy four airports in India, but now one forty nine airports have been created. In GS paper three, there is one topic called infrastructure, 
and in infrastructure we need to study roads then you know uh, roads airports ports etc to us topic mein aapko ye add karna hai airports mein ki india mein no uh, we have increased the number of airports from 74 to 149 now तो आप 149 एयरपोर्ट्स ओवरऑल इंडिया में एज पर द गवर्नमेंट क्लेम ये गवर्नमेंट का क्लेम है कि नाउ 149 एयरपोर्ट्स आर देयर तो ये इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इंक्रीज हुआ पिछले कुछ सालों में यू नो इन लार्ज अमाउंट द गवर्नमेंट हैज स्पेंड मोर मनी ऑन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर लाइक एयरपोर्ट्स पोर्ट्स रोड्स रेलवेज एटसेट्रा एनर्जी इज आल्सो अ पार्ट ऑफ द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इन इंडिया क्लियर साहिब यस सर दिस पेपर Three topic. Now let's move to the next page. So here you can see Bundelkhand journey. Bundelkhand highway is also built by the state government. That is the advertisement here. That's what you can check it out. Now let's move to the next page. We can also see the other schemes, other policies of the government, like Jal Jeevan Mission. This is also one of the scheme of the this government. Then smart city project. This is also here. These are all things. So in this, and of course. Whenever you are studying such type of schemes, you need to know the issues associated with the design and implementation of this scheme, right? As a UPS aspirant, you have to know all the schemes that are being made. All the schemes related, all the design issues and implementation issues, you have to see. But first, you have to know this first. That what are the schemes that are being made? 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 What are the schemes One is Jal Jeevan Mission, and another is called Smart City Project. Delhi government budget is likely to be tabled in February. Education, health is in focus. So Delhi government is going to focus more on education and health in its budget. That's what the Chief Minister of Delhi has said. Now let's move to the next page. Today on Sunday there is no editorial, but there are some columns written by various writers. Fine. The next advertisement is about agriculture is backbone of Indian economy. So when I will be discussing the basics of Indian economic class, so in that time we will see like why agriculture is considered or called as the backbone of Indian economy. All of you must be knowing like since. Of course, all of you lives in India. आप सभी को पता ही होगा कि why agriculture is called as the backbone of Indian economy. Two three important facts are there which you need to know. Why Indian economy is called as backbone of uh, sorry agriculture is called as backbone of Indian economy. One is more than fifty percent of the Indian populations are dependent on agriculture, and around eighteen percent of the GDP, around eighteen percent of the total goods and services which are created in India is from the agriculture. and of course uh, since uh, ancient time like even before the indus valley civilization started in india agriculture is the major important profession in india right so that is why agriculture is called as the backbone of indian economy if agriculture fails then all other sectors like manufacturing sector service sector they also get affected if the agriculture is affected in india so that is what is mentioned here so agriculture is backbone of the indian economy so this is actually an advertisement by a company so uska company ka advertisement hai but aapko ye pata hona chahiye ki why agriculture is called as backbone of india now let's move to the next page in gs paper 3 there is one topic called technology in the aid of agriculture so hil is a company which is having a green revolution What is Green Revolution? How Green Revolution started in 1960s, and what was the achievement? What were the drawbacks? What are the issues associated with the Green Revolution that I will be discussing with you in detail? So, Green Revolution is basically, you know, use of technology is increasing the production of agriculture in India. So, India के agricultural production को बढ़ाने के लिए technology का इस्तेमाल किया गया था. So, Hindustan Uh, sorry hil limited is a company which is helping the farmers to increase the production by bio product by giving them bio product strategy 
एंड टेक्नोलॉजिकल इंटीग्रेशन एग्रीकल्चर को इंटीग्रेट करना है टेक्नोलॉजी के साथ में फॉर अस्टेनेबल एग्रीकल्चर सस्टेनेबल मतलब यू नो लॉन्ग टर्म चलने वाला एग्रीकल्चर के लिए एक यू नो टेक्नोलॉजी प्रोवाइड कर रही है दैट इज व्हाट इज मेंशन सो एज अ यूपीएससी एस्पिरेंट वी नीड टू नो दैट यू नो व्हाट आर द व्हिच व्हाट आर द रिसेंट टेक्नोलॉजी व्हिच आर बीइंग यूज्ड इन एग्रीकल्चर इन आवर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एज वेल यस्टरडे वी हैव स्टार्टेड द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन टॉपिक बेसिक्स ऑफ इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन देयर इज वन पार्ट कॉल्ड डायरेक्टिव प्रिंसिपल ऑफ स्टेट पॉलिसी and in directive principle of state policy the government the state is supposed to develop the scientific agriculture in india so dpsp mein kya kaha gaya it is a responsibility of the state to develop the scientific agriculture or organize the agriculture in india in a scientific way so there are so many technologies like biotechnology space technology or you know electronics technology computer technology information technology all these technologies can be used in agricultural activity so that is what is mentioned here that hil is green revolution that is no use of technology in increasing the agricultural production so that is what you can say the bio product strategy and technological integration uh, is for the sustainable agriculture so it's a sustainable agriculture hota hai that's what is mentioned here so please read this column understand that how this company is helping in having a sustainable agriculture in india one more important technology that is called biogas it is you know you no know, uh, this will be helping the farmers in having extra income that's what is mentioned here this will be also a part of the green initiative that is you know uh, all the countries in the world including india they are trying to create such energy resources and energy sources which are green in nature which are not having any you know the pollution or which are not having any impact on global warming so that's what you can see here so this company is also helping the farmers to uh, create biogas that's what is mentioned here. so just read this article as per the deputy general manager so hil is promoting the eco friendly greener technology as i told you greener technology ka matlab kya hota hai the technologies which are not creating any pollution right? which are not emitting you know emitting any uh, greenhouse gases and that carbon dioxide etc that is what is explained here so it is promoting more greener technologies in agriculture as well that's what you can check it out here so you know ye ye jo advertisement hai you are by you know reading this advertisement you will come to know what are the recent technologies which are being used in agriculture in agricultural you know tech, uh, agricultural activities that's what you can check it out here theek hai jaise ki aur yahan pe ek bahut achhi information di hai organic farming mein kya kya aata all of you know what is organic farming can anybody tell me what is organic farming you must have heard about this term called organic farming yes sahi what is organic farming any idea about it what is this organic farm sahil iram without the use of pesticides and no, matlab hybridization is organic farming right so use of you know natural pesticides or chemical pesticides or fertilizers chemical pesticides all right so the use of chemical fertilizer like organic is also like you are a student of chemistry i guess right uh, you know you are studying chemistry right yes, sir i've changed my subject okay but you must be knowing the difference between organic and inorganic yes sir right matlab kya what what do you mean by organic organic ka matlab hota hai which is you know living jo living thing hota hai that is what is called organic got it हेलो एम ऑडिबल यस 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 सो आप यहां पर देखिए ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग में बेसिकली होता क्या लाइक हाउ अ एग्रीकल्चरल कैन बी प्रैक्टिस विदाउट द यूज ऑफ केमिकल फर्टिलाइजर्स केमिकल पेस्टिसाइड्स और केमिकल यू कैन से या द इंसेक्टिसाइड्स एटसेट्रा सो दैट इज व्हाट इज एक्सप्लेन हियर दैट एज ऑर्गेनिक मैन्युअर एंड सोइल अमेंडमेंट एजेंट आर यूज्ड टू एनहांस द नाइट्रोजन फर्टिलाइजर्स बाय रिड्यूसिंग द रेट ऑफ नाइट्रिफिकेशन and to inhibit the soil pests including nematodes fungi and insects neem leaves are used as a mulch and green manure 
to protect the stored grains and legumes neem leaves are mixed with the grain in storage etc so recently we have seen that neem urea is being you know manufactured now question has also been asked in 2000 i think in 2017 or 18 uh, prelims exam a question pucha gaya tha that is called neem coated urea to is tarike se no greener technology a greener you know uh, uh, you can say manure or fertilizers or you know insecticides are being used to in agricultural practices so that is what is mentioned here so please read this article to understand what exactly is you know how which greener technologies are being used in agricultural practices so gs paper 3 topic technology in the aid of farmers clear now let's move to the next page the problem of the delhi is winter and the problem of the you know uh, pollution in delhi recurs again and again during the winter that's what is explained here i have explained you in detail uh, i will be explaining this issue uh, in current affairs topics sometime again that what are the issues associated with the pollution in delhi and surrounding region during the winter time now let's move to the next page on youtube videos raising evm doubts now an election commission disclaimer so yesterday i think we have discussed about you know one of the important uh, concern about the elections that are being held in india is the electronic voting machine so uh, there are so many youtube you must have heard that there are so many uh, channels on the youtube which are claiming that ki, uh, evm is not uh, working in a proper way so of course as i told you election commission of india is having the responsibility of conducting free and fair elections in india and it has the responsibility also to you know clarify the doubts or to clear the doubts among the voters in india so voters mein jo ye jis tarike ke jo doubts hain ki evm sahi mein sahi tarike se kaam karta hai ya nahi karta hai isme kuch problems hain ya nahi hai isko clear karne ki zimmedari bhi election commission of india pe hota hai so that's why uh, you know all the uh, channel, you know videos which are being uploaded on youtube it needs to have the election commission of dec- uh, disclaimer to so just read this article that what is this issue so please read this whole article to understand what are the issues associated with the election vote, electronic voting machines which are used during the elections in india on sunday uh, there are some opinion articles uh, editorial hota nahi hai uh, opinion articles hote hain one of the important article which is written by p chidambaram on every sunday so he writes on political economic issues in india that's what you can see that as per him it's a happy new year for some people and not for all people well, as per him jo bhi india mein happy new year hai wo sare logon ke liye nahi hai kuch hi logon ke liye that's what he say because as per p chidambaram in india whatever the development is happening or whatever the economic growth is happening that is happening for only few people it is not an equal growth so that's what he say so who are the happy people that's what he explained here and what are the dark side like who which people are not you know happy it means that as per him there is huge economic inequality in india so india mein economic inequality generated among only few people in india and the remaining like more than you know uh, more than 80 to 90% population in the country are not happy uh, and that is why there is no happy new year for them that's what it say so what are the issue like as per him why the people are not happy because of course they are without job and with inflation matlab job bhi nahi hai aur uske sath mein inflation what is inflation inflation means you know there is you know uh, rise in the prices of the commodities and services so that's what you can say the other major section that is unhappy people is the people without jobs 
and the people who are being affected by the inflation. When I will be discussing the basic of Indian economy, we'll come to know that uh, not all people are affected by the inflation, but only few people, but majority of the people are affected by the inflation. So uh, the people with low income group, jinka income low hota hai, they are affected by the inflation. Of course, the people with high inflation, high income group, uh, they are not having any effect on their life. But that is what is explained here, ki jin logon pe inflation ka asar ho raha hai, and jin logon ko job nahi hai, these are the people who are not happy in this new year. That is what is P. Chidambaram saying. Of course, P. Chidambaram is a Congress leader, he is opposition leader. He will be criticizing the government, you know, uh, government failure in providing all these things. But, you know, uh, uh, ignoring the fact that he is a political leader, but whatever he writes on Sunday, that will be useful for you in writing the critical analysis kind of answer in men's exam. But the men's exam, the critical analysis ke jo kuch, kuch questions aate hai na, un questions mein kuch points aapko milenge in P. Chidambaram's article. So you have to ignore some of the, you know, uh, some of the uh, political uh, remarks of him, but you will get some of the points. Now, you will get some of the points from here, that inflation is very high, jobs in India are not in India, you will get some of the points. And, you know, there is huge economic inequality in India. That's what you will come to know by, you know, by uh, reading this article. So, as per him, very few people are having good income in India and the majority of the population are not happy. Clear? Chale, now let's move to the next page. Economic page is having the news with respect to the Red Sea disruption, which we have already discussed. That at Red Sea, there are uh, you know, frequent attacks by the Houthi rebels, and that is why this sea route is got disrupted and that is why the prices are increasing. So New Delhi must prepare for, for long-term shipping disruptions. These yeah, disruptions are uske liye government ko ready hona chahiye. That is what GTRI has said. So I have already discussed about it that what is this issue and I have already shared the notes on the group with respect to this Red Sea issue. So where the Red Sea is located and what is the strategic uh, uh, importance or uh, strategic location of this Red Sea uh, is uh, having effect on the global trade. Global, global trade, that's what you need to know as a UPSC aspirant. So India must be ready for long-term you know, preparation with respect to such type of disruption. That is what Global Trade Research Organization, that is GDRI, has said. Fine. So this is all there in the today's newspaper. So I have given you four to five points to do it today. And I will be also sharing the notes uh, with you in the group with respect to the topics of the day. Fine. Any doubts for the today's session? Sopnil, Bhakti, Iran, is it clear to you? Yes, sir. Check it. Check. So we'll stop it here now. Uh, most probably, uh, we'll continue with the quality class tomorrow evening. Uh, today is Sunday, that's why I may not be taking the class in the evening today. But tomorrow onwards, we will be having the basic uh, Indian quality classes regular. Fine. You, know, you also please join the class to have the conceptual clarity. But there will be some conceptual clarity to you if you join the class. Fine? Yes, sir. So, any problem? Check. So have a good day to all of you. See you.